What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back on the range and today I have yet another elephant rifle to show you. I'm really excited about it. I have not shot it yet. Let's go check it out and get started. So the elephant rifle I have for you today is a CZ550 chambered in 375 h and Magnum. I have one of these already, but it's chambered in 458 lot. Decided to get another one but this one's in 375. This is a bolt action rifle with a five round internal magazine. Have a lot of fun with this rifle. But like I said, this one's chambered in something a little bit different. This is a 375 h and Magnum. h and stands for Holland and Holland. They're the ones who made it back in 1912, but people are still using it. They say this is the most versatile round when it comes to dangerous game. They go from 270 grains all the way up to 350 grain solids. And in a lot of countries, this is the minimum requirement when it comes to hunting dangerous game. You can't go any smaller than 375 H&H. By no means is this a 700 Nitro Express, but it is still a mean, mean cartridge. One I have not tried out yet. Really excited to do that. So let's go get set up and get started. Real quick, let me show you the 375 H&H compared to some other 30 caliber rounds. This is a 308. 30 06, 300 Winchester Magnum, and this is the 375 H and H Magnum. All right, so we got our steel target set up over here. I got my uh, Vinton electric bike today because I'm feeling lazy and I really don't want to walk back and forth with this steel target. Let's go get set up. <laughs> But before we get started, I want to say thank you to the Ridge Wallet for sponsoring today's video. If you get tired of packing around a big bulky wallet, you need to check out the Ridge Wallet. First of all, I'd like to point out there's over 30 different colors. Two of my favorites, Burnt Titanium and Damascus Steel. I like the design of the Ridge Wallet and I've really come to appreciate it when I'm traveling. If I have a big bulky wallet in my back pocket while I'm driving for 10 hours, kind of gets annoying. The Ridge Wallet is super thin, holds up to 12 cards, and has a money clip on the back. It holds everything I need and slips right into my front pocket. And on top of that, it's metal, which is great because you know I'm not exactly easy on things. If you want to check out the Ridge Wallet, be sure and use my link in the description down below and use coupon code Kentucky. Normally that would get you 10% off, but until December 7th, they're bumping it up to 15% off. So be sure and check them out. Again, a big thank you to the Ridge Wallet for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. All right, I'm back at 50 yards. Let's take a few shots with this thing. Really curious to see how this feels. <laughs> I tell you what, that's not a 700 Nitro, but that's a pretty bad round. Oh. All right, well, had all my shots right here. Looks like I was pulling them to the right just a tad. I was kind of having trouble seeing uh, the front side a little bit back there. It's really bright, but still kept them all right here. Didn't really do much for our steel, but this steel is rated like for 50 BMG. It just eats it for lunch. So I wouldn't really expect to see any dents in it anyways. shoot some four inch thick cinder blocks. I think two will do it. We'll find out. The round I'm gonna be using is a 350 grain brass solid. All right, let's let her rip. Okay, well, I thought that one cinder block 
uh, would be enough. I really didn't think we were going to make it to the second block, but uh, I was wrong. Looks like we blew through the first block and then we hit the second block. Dug a little canal right there into the second block. Stopped about halfway in and there's the round and that is hot. <laughs> Up next, I got something a little bit new. They're called slimy balls. I didn't really think that one through. I probably just ruined another sweatshirt. Good news is Black Friday's coming up and Cyber Monday. November 26th, Black Friday, we got all kinds of deals. $1 stickers, all regular priced items are buy one, get one 50% off. 15% off Christmas sweaters, and something I'm really excited about, Flashback Friday t-shirts for 20 bucks. That means we're bringing back Bob's Big Boomsticks and Gun Genie shirts just for Black Friday. And speaking of things you can only get on Black Friday, this is the limited edition, blacked out, just put a thumb in it t-shirt. Instead of the green shirt with black lettering, you got the opposite. You got a blacked out shirt with the green letters and the green logo on the side. Only available on Black Friday. And don't forget about Cyber Monday because on Cyber Monday, we have limited edition nacho cheese shirts. They're only 15 bucks and they're only available on Cyber Monday. Don't miss out on all these savings. Be sure and swing over to KentuckyBallistics.com on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Get all that Christmas shopping out of the way, sit back and relax. So for these slime balls and pretty much everything that's soft moving forward, I'm gonna be using some 350 grain jacket at hollow points. This one had all kinds of like shiny little glittery strands in it. All right, let's wash this table off with some water. We've got five one gallon water jugs filled with way too much food coloring. 350 grain jacket at hollow point. I think it's gonna blast through every single one of these water jugs. I don't think that the water jugs made it much better. Oh. Up next, I got some eggplant. Cause nobody likes eggplant. <laughs> hey, you like that eggplant? Up next, we're gonna shoot some pineapples. <laughs> I've shot a lot of pineapples, but uh, I haven't seen too many rounds do that to pineapples. Look at this, just mush all over the table. According to where the sun is setting in the sky, it appears it's Three seventy-five inch and inch is pretty effective against watermelons. That is crazy. Look at that. Just mush. So much energy was transferred into that watermelon, and it just annihilated it. Look at that, that's disgusting. That doesn't even look like watermelon anymore. That looks like the inside of a pumpkin. All right, up next, we got some nacho cheese. And I don't want to hear a word about me shooting this cheese because you know what kind of cheese this is? Nacho cheese. Oh my God. The shock wave from that nacho cheese getting hit with the 375 H&H broke the table. <laughs> That's so gross. The nacho cheese, when it starts getting cold, is like so much thicker. It's just like sticking to the table. This table got wrecked. Look at it. 
It's so gross. You got cheese, watermelon, and slime. Oh, it's about it. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the 375 H&H &H Magnum. What did you think about it? And out of all of the elephant rifles you've seen on the channel, which one is your favorite? Leave your answers in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video as much as I did, do me a favor and give it a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, why aren't you subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics? Hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure and check me out on Kentucky Customs, Kentucky Ballistics Shorts, Instagram, Facebook, Patreon, Twitter, all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, don't forget about the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.